Well hello YouTube humans and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Amy and today I'm going to be bringing you a foundation review. Today we are reviewing the number 7 Stay Perfect foundation. This is a foundation that I have used for quite a number of months now. It's actually, um, it used to be before I discovered how much I like CC creams like the Revolution Pro and the It Cosmetics. This used to be my everyday foundation that I would use to go to work. I'm going to sound really nasally and really really horrible in this video because I am recovering from I think it could be a throat infection, I'm really not certain at this point but I can't really breathe out of my nose. So this is going well and the tan on my hands is just ridiculous. So all in all, great start to the video but we'll just dive straight into it. Um, as with all my foundation videos I'll be priming both sides of my face using one side applied with a sponge, one side with a brush so we can see how it works with both of them. Today I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer, which is really weird because it's really like really liquidy. Um, but I actually finished the ordinary high adherent silicone primers that I was attempting to do in my project pan. So I can now move on to other things, which is frankly a miracle for me. Uh, I'm filming some other videos later this afternoon. Um, with regards to like, empty products and stuff like that so looking forward to finally clearing those out so we'll talk about the foundation just while the um, primer is setting so it says life proof foundation for naturally flawless complexion with natural oh sorry with super staying power not natural read that wrong uh, this comfortable foundation feels lightweight and breathable and gives an even toned beautifully smooth complexion that looks and feels fresh all day long it can be relied upon to stay perfect, weatherproof and transfer proof. Interesting claim. It won't cake or flake on dry skin, nor slide or shine on oily skin. Shake well before use, blend on smoothly with your fingers or a sponge. So it doesn't actually recommend to use a brush. Um, it has an SPF 15, up to 24 hours wear, suitable for sensitive skin. I have mine in the shade Calico, which I think is the palest shade with a yellow undertone. Um, in terms of shades that you have, I think there's like 24 or something like that. Um, which is definitely not the best, but it's also definitely not the worst that I've seen. So, swings and roundabouts really. If you can find something that works for you, great. I think they, with a lot of, as a lot of companies do, they cater very well to the mid-tone spectrum. And then you're very dark and you're very light people are going to struggle. When I don't have tan, I do struggle with finding a foundation match in number seven because in my memory, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna obviously check it again today, my memory, this oxidizes really quite badly, um, making it go probably two or three shades darker than it does when you first apply it. But hey ho, um, on we shall soldier. So I'm gonna start by applying the side of the sponge. As I've noticed in a few of my foundation videos, I couldn't tell exactly whether the side that I'd used with this because I used to apply the brush brush side first I couldn't tell whether it was particularly glossy because of the sponge or because that's how the foundation was the finish of the foundation so it is definitely running down my hand so it's kind of a medium viscosity liquid and it's definitely a lot lighter than my tan but from what I remember this does oxidize really badly so I'll just I'll do this side of the sponge so it's supposed to be like a stay perfect long wearing foundation I think it's not going to be from what I remember because I haven't used this in quite a while because I've been doing a lot of foundation trialing it's not got the highest coverage in the world but it did it just was an everyday foundation for me just because I was something that I knew I could rely on however my skin, after being brilliant for like two months, I was a bit of a twat and did a massive clear out, as you will have seen with all of my decluttering videos, and found that I had loads of travel minis that I was never going to use, that were just taking up space and that would have gone off before I had the chance to use them again. 
So I decided, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do a full month of travel minis. Let's do a, let's do a full month where I, I trial, like I use all of my travel minis exclusively for everything that I have. So it was hair care, body care. I've got like mini tans, I've, which is what I've got on today. It's the Hishi bronzing gel. Um, body lotions, body wash, uh, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in treatments and I had, the most that I had was skincare and my skin just went bananas about five days ago. Um, so not brilliant. <laughs> I'm in the process of trying to sort that out. I am having to use quite a lot of product here to get anything resembling a coverage that I would be happy to leave the house with. So this is definitely not full coverage little product. It is definitely a sheerer, it's like a, a, a light to medium coverage I would say because I've put a lot on and you can still see pigmentation like across my cheeks quite badly actually. So that is quite a lot of products on this side of my face. It's, it's definitely evened out my skin tone. I can't remember now why I used to like this so much because from what I can see on my skin it's not brilliant. Um, Okay, positives. Let's go for positives. Um, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing product, really, even though I have put a lot of it on. It has meshed into my skin really well. And if you look really closely at my skin, the only place that you can really discern that I'm wearing product is round the corner of my nose. It looks really skin-like, but as a result of it looking really skin-like, there's no coverage at all. I've put probably about three and a half pumps on there, and don't get, it's, a, it's a light to medium coverage that has evened out my skin tone enough. But if I were to... It's not enough for me now that I think about it. <laughs> Not when my skin's looking as bad as it is at the moment. But hey ho, we shall solder on. I think that has definitely oxidised. Here, around the outside, is the older foundation. This kind of ring around here, and that's newer foundation in the middle. So that has definitely oxidised on my hand, 100%. Like a good kind of two shades, I would say. Which is why, even though it looks quite pale in the bottle you're not gonna find many shades for your super pale ladies and I know just from looking at the foundation lineup they don't have the largest selection for darker skin tones either but then I suppose if you have a darker skin tone and you get one that oxidizes it's more likely going to match you like if you are let's just say in MAC shades I mean, I've got tan on at the moment, a lot of tan on at the moment, and it's matching my neck. If you wear anything, like NC25 or lighter, you're buggered, frankly. And because the foundation's oxidised, they do tend to go warmer as well. So if you've got a cooler skin tone, again, you're going to struggle because you're going to have like a floating yellow Cheeto head. And then the rest of your body's going to be cooler tone, which is not ideal. Well, I've already got the same level of coverage and I've used literally half the product. I've used probably about three and a half pumps and I've used just under two on this hand. Hand, side of my face. <laughs> um, it's looking a bit terrible actually, across my nose, where I've buffed it in. It's definitely looking better on this side and on my forehead it looks nigh on identical again oh jeez hang on 
it has not I've got this dry area where I've had a couple of breakouts on this side of my chin and it has sat really quite terribly across this bit it looks non identical across the rest of my face just this patch on, on my chin here is not looking not looking good I would say now that this one's had time to kind of dry I would say this looks as glossy now as this size has on first application so obviously you're definitely going to get a, a more hydrated finish and more skin like finish if you use a sponge I think I think to be fair I'm just going to cheat a bit and I'm just going to use the sponge on this section of my face just to see whether the sponge helps with this area of dryness at all no okay no it hasn't so it's not really sitting well on areas of texture so when it says it won't cake or flake on dry skin lie frankly um it's not looking fabulous across my nose on the side that i've used this the brush on you can see brush marks in the side here and it doesn't matter what i do they're not going anywhere so all in all not a great start i can't remember why i used to like this foundation so much now at this point but hey ho i'm now going to apply the rest of my makeup and i'll check back in with you guys in a bit brb and i'm back so i just did like my usual kind of makeup with the same kind of products that i would use normally and i have to say my skin is not looking the best at this moment in time around my chin looks really dry and cakey my nose looks okay my forehead you can't really see it on the camera but up here it looks like i've got peeling sunburn so that's great so yeah I'm, i i can't really remember why i used to wear this foundation every day and why i used to like it so much but there you go so i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day now and i will check back in with you guys in a bit to let you know how it's going on well hello guys it is currently coming up on six o'clock so i've had this foundation on for about six hours now and this is what we're looking like at the moment i still sound terrible this is kind of where that kind of weird texture is in terms of like oiliness it's actually looking not too bad it's just it's not sat really well on top of any texture that i have so not terribly impressed at the moment but uh, obviously i'll keep it on for the remainder of the evening and i'll check back in with you guys in a bit well hello i am back and it is coming up on nine o'clock so it is about nine hours since i first applied this foundation and we're still we're looking okay it's just the coverage was never there to start with and it's still is looking a bit questionable around my chin where i've had some breakouts in terms of oiliness it's actually held up quite well for nine hours on my skin it's just i can't remember why i like this so much because the coverage isn't there it oxidizes way too much and it hasn't sat well on texture so i can't remember why i like this foundation it's not inherently a bad foundation it's just not what i'm looking for so I mean if you've got pretty good skin i think you would quite like this foundation you're looking for a longer wearing foundation that's a bit more on the natural side this is probably a good option for you it's just not for me and not for my skin so yeah um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and give this video a thumbs up so more people can find it and other than that i'll see you next time guys bye